fast can you save $100,000? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we did it in three and a half years. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how we did it. So point number one, what we want you to know is that do not focus on the $100,000, right? We want you to focus on the percentage of income you need to have in order to reach this goal. Right, now, what we started to practice during our process is the 50-30-20 rule. What that means is that 50% of our income goes towards our fixed expenses, which is our rent or mortgage, our transportation, and um, insurance, things that go along with our things that we absolutely need. And groceries. And groceries. Groceries food. is different than Uber Eats. Yes. <laughs> now, the flexible expense, which is for 30%, that's where Uber Eats and our restaurant everything budget else and everything goes. else went, uh, credit card debt. That's where all that stuff went. Now... The last part, the 20%, was our savings. Now, this didn't just happen overnight. We had to work towards it. Now, when we started focusing on the percentage rather than the amount of money that we saved, things started to open up for us because it was a, a battle of just doing the right thing every single time that we get paid, doing the same thing every time we get paid, putting a percentage of our income into each one of those categories or those goals that we set for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, the second point is, do not get into high interest debt. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Matter of fact, the reason why we were able to save $100,000 in three and a half years is because we focused on getting out of high interest debt and the debt, the money that we were spending on this debt, we started putting in savings because it was already accounted for. Even though we weren't putting it towards debt moving forward, we still had to make sure we had a place for that income because if we didn't, we just would have got into more debt. Mm -hmm. I, well, you just said a mouthful because what we don't recognize, what Darius and I didn't recognize was when we were paying our debt off, that money, like we said, was already accounted for. You know, the, the MasterCard, Visa, they're already going to come call in every month. And mm -hmm. we didn't recognize that 100 here, 200 there, 300 there was going to add up to $2,000 a month. We didn't think about that. We we're just like, oh, these are simple payments, you know, no big deal. So again, in hindsight, knowing what we know now, we had a, a credit card spending problem and we had to figure out how to reconcile that. And because we were open to understanding creative financing, we fell into the realm of understanding how to use a whole life insurance policy, one, to have cash value grow inside of our policy at a compounded rate that is tax free, in addition to having the life insurance box checked to ensure that our income was covered should something happen to one of us. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn how to use a whole life insurance policy's cash value to help you finance your lifestyle, then definitely click on the link below. We would love to show you at The Wealth Nation because we are licensed agents and we have a team behind us that allows all of our clients to accomplish their financial goals with using life insurance as a solution. Right. Now, our team aren't just uh, life insurance agents. They're also certified financial advisors. So they can give you uh, information uh, not only about life insurance, but all your financial needs, mm -hmm. including retirement and your investments. Now, let's get back to the, the point of you saving $100,000. The reason why this information is so near and dear to our heart is because we recognize that 50% of America does not have enough savings to cover a $1,000 emergency. That's a problem. And we need to help inspire and empower our Wealth Nation audience to pay yourself first, to make sure that you are a priority because as we say all the time, you are the one that is going out and doing the work and you should be paid a wage of your income every single time that you get paid. And we want to continue to stress this importance because we don't want our Wealth Nation audience to have uh, any issues with it when it, as it pertains to savings or when things come up. The whole point of our our financial freedom, once we actually recognize what that was for ourselves, was because if things come up, we could pay for them. Without and having to go in the debt. Without having to swipe our credit card. <laughs> uh, here, here's a story, right? We used one credit card specifically for emergencies because it had a higher balance. Can anybody relate to that? We're like, oh, this is the emergency card. If, you know, we need new tires, if this goes out, we had a credit card for that. But we didn't know or think about the fact that the interest that we would have to pay long term, paying it off every month. I digress. Again, going back <laughs> to the point of just how important it is for you to have savings, for you to prioritize savings, because until you understand what financial freedom means for you, you're going to continue to be in the same cycle time and time again, doing the same thing, wishing that you had 
add whatever freedom means for you. Right. Now, the third point is bonuses and windfalls should go straight to savings. Don't count this as part of your normal income because it isn't. We've heard so many times where people make their uh, bonuses and their and their um, windfalls. Well, just bonuses, an example or overtime as part of their normal income when it should not be. That should go straight to savings. Mm -hmm. And a windfall, just for those of you who may not know what a windfall is, a windfall is a large lump sum of money or a large doesn't have to be large, right? It could be a few grand. It could be a few hundred dollars, but uh, um, money that you weren't expecting money that came out of thin air, Mm -hmm. (laughs) right? That you weren't expecting. That's what we consider a windfall. And again, it's important for you to recognize the differences between bonuses over time in this windfall, because these aren't guaranteed pieces of your income. Neither is your income, really. Your income in general isn't guaranteed. But again, it's separate. So you have to look at what is the base pay, right? And then look at everything else as a bonus opportunity for you to stuff your savings. Mm -hmm. The fourth point is get a side hustle or part-time job just for savings, not so that you can go in and go to restaurants or go travel a little more just for savings so that you can meet your savings goal. Because here's here's why savings is important. Savings is important so that you can have an emergency fund so that you can make large purchases and so that you can invest mm-hmm. so that you don't have to work as hard as you're working now. It's your money making money. These are the three purposes of savings, which is very, very, very important because for one, an emergency if something was to happen you don't have to go into debt or you you have the income to to pay for your fixed and flexible expenses until you find more income to large purchases you don't have to go into debt to get a large purchase say your washer and dryer goes out you don't have to go and put three four thousand dollars on a credit card or with a a 20 percent interest rate if you have the funds you just Buy it from your savings and then replace those funds in your savings account. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is your investments. Your investments is your money making money, meaning that you're earning interest instead of paying interest. And that goes without saying how important that is. Absolutely. And the last point that we're going to share with you is consistency. Rinse and repeat. Do this again and again and again and be as consistent as you possibly can. Because again, the only way that you are going to be able to save any money, regardless if it's, you know, $5,000 or $100,000 is because of your determination to be consistent. Mm -hmm. The good habits that you put in place in order for you to achieve what financial freedom looks for you. Right. Consistency builds habits. And the habits that you had up until this point is the reason where why you are where you are right now. Good or bad, your habits got you there. Mm-hmm. Now, the habits that you have to get $100,000, $100,000 is just one goal there. As long as you have these habits, you're going to continue to add on to that and even create other habits that allow you to invest and make more money. Mm -hmm. That's the whole purpose of this conversation that we're having. Mm -hmm. And again, remember, it's not about one hundred thousand dollars. It's about the percentage of income that you consistently save every single time that you get paid. Exactly. I wanted to come back to that point. So with point number one, it's about the percentage of income. And the the other thing too, why we don't want you to just focus on the $100,000 is because we want you to embrace the journey, mm-hmm. right? I, I think we have that somewhere around here, <laughs> back there. <laughs> embrace the journey because we can get so focused on the, the money, the money, the money, the money. And we don't even look up and, and realize that we've been uh, embracing Every single time you make a deposit into your savings account or whatever has happened along the way, good, bad, or indifferent, embrace every piece of the journey because life is too short for us to be so focused on just numbers. We gave you the blueprint on what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Go have fun with it. This doesn't have to be uh, stressful. This doesn't have to, you know, break marriages apart. You know, this has to be a fun thing that you decide that you want to do because you are embracing whatever this freedom is going to look like for you. And then you may decide two quarters of the way in, you know what, I'm going to do something different. But at least now you have the wherewithal and the experience and the wisdom in place to know what it is that you actually want. Right. Don't put so much uh, attention or place so much value on something that doesn't have value, which is money. And if you think it does have it, it, it does have some value, but inflation is chipping out, chipping away at that value. So focus on the percentage and what you can do with those funds rather than just having the funds just to have it. Every dollar that you have that you have should have a purpose. And one of the purposes in this conversation is to save you 
when you need it, <laughs> when yeah. you need saving. Exactly. And then the idea is we're not going to save our way to financial freedom, right? We're just getting the foundation in place, like I said before, in order for you to build those habits. Now, what do you do once you have $100,000? Definitely click on the next video, which is our masterclass, so you can figure out how to build lasting financial freedom. Remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.